So we're going to just talk very briefly about the reactivity of the halogens. For group one, we said that they got more reactive down the group. For group seven, they actually get less reactive down the group. So if we do the reactivity of the halogens, um, the most reactive halogen is fluorine. So reactivity decreases down the group. Why is that? So why is it opposite to alkali metals? Um, I think, is it because they have to gain an electron and it being close to the centre it's got a stronger attra attraction? Yeah. To so it's going to pull it in. So what's actually happening? What is going to happen to all the halogens? So let's have a look at fluorine. Fluorine has got two electrons followed by seven electrons. Chlorine has got two followed by seven. Sorry, followed by eight, followed by seven. Like so. So out of these two, is it a bit smelly? There you go. You're surviving. So, um, what's happening? For each of these, what do they want to do? They all want to get eight electrons. They all want to gain an electron. So what type of iron are they going to become? Fluorine wants to gain an electron to become F minus and chlorine wants to be Cl1. So they've got to have an electron coming in there, like so. So how can we do that? Well, how my nucleus is here for both of them, that's what's attracting my electron in each time. So as that comes in, so what's attracting it here, can you see that this electron is coming in and he's coming into a shell that's much closer to the nucleus, whereas this one is coming into shell number three. Sorry? Yeah, so he's going to be far less attracted to that nucleus than he is going to be. So again, it's the opposite effect. For metals, they were losing electrons, so it's easier to lose that electron for fluorine because he's away, but these will gain an electron, and because he is closer, coming into a shell, he's coming into a shell closer to the nucleus, that's much easier. So fluorine is the most reactive, followed by chlorine, and then they come into a shell further and further away. So you've got to make sure, because sometimes they're asked you to compare reactivities with alkali metals and halogens, you've got to be really careful which one you're talking about for that one.